I would like to wish you all a very happy and peaceful Sunday morning. Hi, this is Teresa at Travel by Books, and I am back today to show you my collection of narwhal fountain pens. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, I would very much appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and comment. But for now, let's get started on looking at these beautiful, beautiful pens. And the first narwhal is the Peter Drawls pen, which was a Gold Spot exclusive and a collaboration between Gold Spot Narwhal and Peter Dalegish, better known as Peter Draws from his YouTube channel. And this is the uh, blue version of this pen. There have been, to my knowledge, a black and gold or black and silver version, and there is a brand new black and white edition of this pen. It is still available at Gold Spot. It's still available as far as I know. And this cap comes off in one, about almost one and three quarters turns. And this is a medium nib. Narwhal has their own in-house nibs. For some reason, I always default to a medium nib with the Narwhal pens. It just seems to me like the fine nibs are all just a little bit scratchy. And in this pen, I have the Ferris Wheel Press Tumultuous Tides ink, which is, has a lot of shimmer. That's the fun thing about these demonstrator pens, is being able to see the ink flow and see the bits of shimmer. And, of course, I've already got ink on my fingers. This pen came out a couple of years ago. And I saw it on Gold Spot's website and in their catalog and made the mistake of thinking that it was a pen that they would have as a regular part of their uh, retail sales. And then it sold out, and I thought I had missed my opportunity to get one. But I did ask them to notify me if it came back in stock, and yay, it did earlier this year. And so I was able to get one. And then I went to the... I think the Triangle Pin Show and found the original plus in their blue. What is the name of their blue pen? Azorius Blue, that's it. I have trouble remembering that name. I had looked for uh, the Azorius Blue at the Orlando show, and not only did the Narwhal table not have the blue. They kind of acted like they didn't know what I was talking about when I asked about it. And I looked all over the show floor for the pen. No, that was at the Atlanta show. I didn't know to look for it when I was at the Orlando show because I was very new into the fountain pen world at that point. I was basically a ride along for my daughter Robin when we went to the first Orlando show. So by the Atlanta show, I knew to look for this pen and couldn't find it anywhere. So I finally 
found it at the Triangle Pin Show near Raleigh, North Carolina. And again, it again it has the uh, in-house narwhal nib in a medium. What I really like about narwhal is the fact that they have a well-built pen, an attractive pen, at a good price. Now, they are stepping up their game and starting to produce some more expensive pens. And they debuted an ebonite pen at the DC show. That's a very high-end pen. And then we have this pen, and this is part of the Voyage series of pens. And each pen is supposed to be inspired by a vacation destination. They have Cancun, um, I'm not sure, oh, Tromso. I'm not sure of all of the destinations. This is the Miami pen with the bright tropical colors of South Florida. And I got this pen at the pen realm table rather than from the nor uh, Norwell table. And it has a gold tone nib. And I have Aurora Turquoise ink in this pen. Oh, I forgot to uh, demonstrate how many turns it takes to get the cap off. So let's do that now. One. Two, two and a quarter, and then this pen is the Key West and the Largo Blue, and I just love the sparkle on this pen. I love the keys anyway. At one time, my husband and I were vacationing in the Keys almost every fall. Uh, we primarily stayed in the Key Largo and Isla Morada area. I have an uncle who still lives part-time in Big Pine Key. So I was naturally drawn to the name of this pen, as well as the Blue Sparkle. And I purchased this pen from endless pens during their 4th of July sale. They had some great discounts and great buys during that sale. And I have this pen inked with Diamine Jack Frost. One. Two turns to remove that cap. And then I have the narwhal, let me see, see if I can pronounce this correctly, the narwhal schuylkill Dragonette Sapphire. Some people say school, school kill, but I actually Googled it, and I think the locals say Schuylkill. And I ordered this pen. I think I ordered this pen also from Endless Pens. 
and it's a great pen. It's a great writing pen. Uh, the only problem that I had with it initially was that it has more of the red color than of what I had seen in videos of previous purchasers of the pen. I was hoping for more of the deep blue resin color. It has an ink window, and I have Diamine Red Dragon ink in this pen. One, two, and we also have a rose gold toned nib on this pen, and you can see the narwhal branding on this nib a little bit better than you could on the other ones. This is just an excellent writing pen. Feels great in the hand. I love this little pen. And then we have My brand new pen that came in this really nice magnetic closure box. And this is a pen that came from Limited Pens Korea. And that is a company that does very small quantities of pens with unique resins. They work with Leonardo Pens, um, Monte Grappa, and uh, they've had just a few narwhal pins in the past. And their pins sell out really, really fast. So I've learned to keep an eye on the Limited Pins Korea website and watch Instagram because they do post on Instagram when they have a new pin. And as soon as I saw this one, I was like, you know, these are just my very favorite colors. The purple and the blue and a little bit of pink. And this resin is Mystic Mermaid Violet by Turnt Pen Co. I haven't inked this one yet because I was waiting on some ink to come that I had ordered. And that ink is J. Airbond's Violet Pants. And it took me a while of looking online to find an ink that would match this resin perfectly. And this pen is a numbered pen. I'm probably not going to get that to show up. But um, there were only 50 of these pens made. I'm assuming the reason for that is that they just get a certain amount of the resin blanks, and so that's all the pens they make. One, two. So I'm looking forward to using this pen. And it has rose, I think it's rose gold. To me that looks rose gold, rose gold toned hardware. Yeah, 
just these colors make me happy. Look at that sheen in that resin, the chatoyance in that resin. That is beautiful. And these sold out within about 24 hours, I think. So what do you think of my Narwhal pen collection? I would appreciate being able to read your comments. Do you have any Narwhal pens? Are you happy with them? Do you think they are good writing pens? Do you have any in mind that you would like to purchase in the future? Which one of these pens did you like the best? You can see that my favorite colors are definitely the blue, blues and purples. This was a, I forgot to say that this is a Jonathan Brooks resin. This is the Primary Manipulation 4 resin. I've actually got a, a video on YouTube about this pen. I'll link it in the description box. And I may... No, I don't. I think this is the first video where I've shown my other Narwhal pens. I'm just mesmerized by watching that shimmer ink flow. So thank you for joining me on this Sunday morning. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.